Hi everybody, let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. It could be about love, finances, events, trips, anything. Please subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Let's begin. This spread is for all air signs. Perhaps your story isn't here, but there is also a separate spread just for your sign. We have the Ten of Cups, we have the Page of Cups, we have the Five of Swords clarified by the Star. We have the Devil clarified by the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. And we have the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. This spread could be about both love and about work, business and finances. And uh, I'm going to make a movie reference. Uh, the Godfather, remember the scene, I don't know if you've seen it, but it, perhaps you have. So there is a scene on The Godfather where the old Don is talking to the new Don, the Al Pacino character. And the old Don says, whoever comes forward with the uh, negotiations or whoever is going to facilitate the peace talks between this family and another family, that person is the traitor. So I think that's exactly what's happening here, or something among those lines. So somebody's going to come forward and offer you, um, if this is about business, somebody's going to come forward and offer you lots of money. They'll paint a very bright, very nice picture. They'll tell you that if you go for it, and it could be about a new job or a new business adventure, a new investment opportunity, they'll tell you that... You know, you'll make so much money that you'll be able to get everything you want. Because um, uh, we have the Ten of Cups right there, the first card on the left. They'll tell you that your family will flourish. You'll have a lot of money. You, you'll be able to start a family or support your family, right? Um, or you'll be able to buy anything you want. We have the Page of Cups here. This is them kind of uh, playing or using your emotional side, right? And uh, let's jump to the right real quick. We have the Devil clarified by the Knight of Pentacles with the Page of Pentacles. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But again, this is all about buying you. They're going to be offering you something that looks too good to be true because it is. Um, the Knight of Pentacles together with the Page of Pentacles, this is them making you an offer so awesome that you'll be like, wow, really? But I think it's all a lie. They will just use you, abuse you, take advantage of you, and then uh, leave you brokenhearted with the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Right? Um, so it'll be very tempting, but it's all a bullshit. That's what I see here. And uh, let's jump back into the middle of the spread. We have the Five of Swords clarified by the star. And I really like that uh, the original spread before I pulled the uh, clarifying cards came out in this particular order, that the Five of Swords came out last. Um, and it's clarified by the star. So the Five of Swords in this case, this is you walking away from this deal. And you're walking towards your real dream with the star card. The star is something that you wish for, for a long time, and that's probably what this person is aware of and they will uh, try to um, like I said paint you this picture that yeah this dream will come true for you if you go for it but no it won't so with the five of swords clarified by the star you're walking away from this deal and uh, you will find a different way to uh, make your wish come true with the star card if this spread is about love then it's pretty much the same thing and by the way it could be an ex coming back in this case, the Page of Cups is the Apology card. And uh, yeah, they could be sending you gifts with the Devil and the Knight and the Page of Pentacles. They could be talking the talk. They'll tell you, you know what, going forward, this is going to be very stable. Um, I've got the money. Um, we'll be uh, raising a family. We'll be buying a house, whatever. Whatever they know that you want, that's exactly what they're going to tell you. Right, but I think you're still making the smart move with the Five of Swords and walking away because you want to avoid the Three of Swords, especially if it is an X. But it could be a new person. The Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of a devastation, this is a card of a heartbreak. So you need to avoid that. Like, just walk away. This person is up to no good. Alright, that's what I have for you. 
Gemini, we have the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Swords, then we have the Seven of Wands clarified by the Page of Swords, and we have the Seven of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This spread kind of reminds me of the spread I just did for all air signs, but it could be a bit different. So uh, it could be about work, business, and finances, and it could be about love. Let's talk about work first. So the Eight of Pentacles, the first card on the left, this is the work card, right? And then we have the Seven of Cups on the bottom of the deck on the right. So at some point during the week, you could be facing a dilemma. Uh, should I stay or should I go? Should I start this new job or should I um, stay with my current employer? Or should I start this new business adventure with this new person or not? Or if you already run your own business or if you are running a project within an organization, you could be thinking of uh, different ways to uh, proceed or different ways to... Um, Make sure that your solution to a problem is the one that is being chosen, right? And I think towards the weekend or during the weekend, you will be pushing your agenda through with the Ace of Swords and uh, the Seven of Wands and the Page of Swords. You're ready to uh, stand your ground to protect what you believe is yours or if you're pushing um, your your vision or the way you want to approach a problem or the way you want to go forward with something you're ready to um, protect it and push it through with the Ace of Swords and I'm pretty sure you'll be successful at that because the Seven of Wands with the Page of Swords and the Ace of Swords uh, represent you are very sharp you are ready to go to war and you're ready to protect and stand your ground and uh, push your agenda through right it could be it's possible that uh, if during the week you thought of a new project or a new business adventure then you will get really really active during this weekend and uh, you'll be uh, pushing it push is the word I keep hearing in my head yeah yeah so get ready Prepare yourself, do your homework, and uh, if you think that uh, the way you envision something is the right way, then uh, go for it. Protect it and push it through. Alright, that's what I have for you in terms of work. If this is about uh, love, then it's pretty much the same thing. You're ready to um, push, your <laughs> push your vision through with the, the loved one. So you'll insist that... Um, the way your relationship was moving forward is uh, the right way. So you'll basically say my way or the highway, and I think they'll they will capitulate at some point. If not, then uh, you are not going to care. You will bulldoze over that person, and uh, yeah, that's what I see here. All right, cool. Libra, we have Temperance clarified by the Sun. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Five of Cups clarified by the Six of Wands, and we have the Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. So the uh, Temperance card is the personal Sagittarius card. So you could be dealing with one, but if we want to stay general, then uh, Temperance is all about uh, healing the situation. It's all about bearing a hatchet, getting back into someone's good graces. It's all about reconciling, right? And it's clarified by the Sun. The Sun is the happiest card in the deck. So this is the intention of whoever is coming back from the past. Libra, and it could be anybody. I pulled a couple of clarifiers and unfortunately I couldn't get a court card. But what's important here is uh, that we have the Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This is somebody coming back around. Another meaning of this card is a soulmate card. So a soulmate could be making a reappearance in your life. And uh, they really miss you and they have a lot of regrets. They've been grieving your absence and... Um, They've been perhaps waiting for the right time to uh, approach you and make you an offer. And uh, yeah, they're coming back with the Six of uh, Wands. That is clarifying the Five of Cups. The Six of Wands is a card of a victory. This is what they want with you. This is a card of personal success. Um, so they feel pretty confident about getting back together with you, um, Libra. By the way, it could be you who is... Uh, trying to reestablish this connection, this relationship. But, and I think this is going to work out. Because the Sun, like I said, is the happiest card in the deck and Temperance is all about healing. So um, expect somebody coming back from the past and uh, you will be getting back together with this person. 
Aquarius. We have strength, we have the two of cups, we have the king of cups, and then we have the queen of swords, clarified by the six of cups. You could be dealing with a Leo or a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or another Aquarius. Um, so it could be somebody coming back from the past, but it could be a new person. And if it is somebody coming back from the past, then I don't think it was a, it is a horrible ex. It's just someone that uh, you were associated with in the past. It could be an ex-co-worker, a friend whom you lost touch with, um, an ex, an ex somebody. <laughs> <laughs> or it could be somebody that you were in a relationship with but um, I don't really see you feeling really bad about this person perhaps you've healed or perhaps the way you broke up was just circumstantial you know one of you was moving to another country or another town and you were much younger at the time some of you was uh, going away to college and that's how the two of you parted away something along those lines it wasn't anything too bad so uh, this person is coming back around or this is a new person and um, it could be a water sign cancer scorpio or pisces i'm talking about the king of cups right now or this is uh, your love interest so it could be any sign but it's somebody who is uh, mature who is uh, in control of their emotions so when this person hits you up and until you get together sparks will fly with the strength card. I think strength in this spread is all about pure, raw passion. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're in love. Because um, we've got the Tea of Cups right there. Uh, the Tea of Cups is a card of a soulmate, unconditional love. To me personally, the Tea of Cups is when two people are, are on the same page and uh, the feelings are mutual. Right? And the, the Six of Cups clarifying the queen of swords this is a card of somebody coming back from the past but the second meaning of that card is the soulmate card so potentially you have two soulmate cards on the table and uh, we we also have the queen of swords this is uh, those two cards the queen of swords and the six of cups are actually the outcome i specifically asked what the outcome is going to be and those two cards came out so the queen of swords in this case is most likely you unless you're dealing with another air sign but it could be uh, both, right? Um, so that's you clarified by the soulmate card. So this is awesome. You have found your soulmate or that person was your soulmate all along but now you're finally uh, getting together and uh, nothing can do you apart. Right Aquarius? <laughs> Alright, so yeah, this is a great spread. You'll have a very loving, very warm and very passionate weekend ahead of you and uh, congratulations. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.